2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Give me Isaiah chapter 41 verse 21. Because I heard a lot of bold statements, but I pray that uh, the uh, answers that the officer gave you edified you. Because you said, uh, what makes Christ better than us, right? I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring, watch this. Isaiah 41, 21, produce your cause. So God says, produce your cause. Why don't you believe in uh, Christ? Why don't you believe Christ is a savior? Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the king of Jacob. Bring forth your strong reasons against the Bible. Bring forth any case you may have that you think can dispute the Bible. There is none, but bring it forth, whatever you got. Because what you gotta understand is, Christ is all throughout the Bible, from the beginning to the end. Give me that. Um, what we have to understand, brother, what's your name? Dwight. All praises, Ezekiel. What we gotta understand is, Christ is from the beginning of the Bible, the middle and the end. Christ is all over. That's what the Bible is about, we're gonna show you, read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. What is Christ? Alpha and Omega. What does that mean? The first and last. Christ is the first and the last. So Christ has always been in the Bible. Right. He's been there since the beginning. Give me that in uh, Proverbs 8. Before the day I was made, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Ooh. Christ was always there. Do you understand? Christ was the first thing created. Before the Lord said, let there be light. Before the Lord created the heaven and the earth, Christ was there. Yeah, right. Right. We're going to show you in the Holy Bible. Yes. You got it? Wait, wait. So Christ is not um, the son of, of Mary? Yes, he is. We're going to show you this levels to this thing. This levels. Dwight. But, but wait, Dwight, wait, wait. don't lose the Wi-Fi. Nah, but wait. We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Just hold on. Hold on. To, hold your locks. Hold your hat. Nah, on. Pick up. Come on. The book of Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 22. Listen. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. So wait a minute. What is what, who, what are we reading here? We reading Proverbs. He said who possessed him? The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. In the beginning. In the beginning. What does Genesis mean, Dwight? Dwight. The beginning. The beginning. Hello, Dwight. No, but yeah. no, but I was thinking about it. It's like... I Listen, know, I know Mary got pregnant with Jesus, right? Yes, she did. <laughs> so, in the beginning, I'm gonna Mary wasn't in the beginning. We're going to show you Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. We're going to show you. Come on, come forth here. I need you to pay attention. I'm paying attention. I need you to open your ears and pay attention. Read that again. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. Uh huh. Before his works of old. Before he said, let there be light. Christ was there. That's what Christ is saying. Read on. I was set up. From everlasting. I was set up from everlasting. This is why Christ said, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Read. From the beginning, or ever the earth was, when there was no death, I was brought forth. Uh -huh. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, uh -huh. before the hills uh -huh. was I brought forth. Uh -huh. Why as yet he had not made the earth, uh -huh. nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust 
of the world. Uh -huh. When he prepared the heavens, uh -huh. I was there. So before he prepared everything, what did Christ say? When he prepared the heavens, I was there. Christ said, I was there. That's right. Now, your question is, but well, wait a minute. Wasn't he born through Mary, right? Yeah. Now, get me Philippians 2 and 8. We're going to show you, again, there's levels to this Bible. There's levels. There's levels, Dwight. We're going to show you that Christ had to come. He had to be, he had to be like one of us, being born through a woman. He had to. We're going to show you. Dwight, listen this. Start of Yes. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Come on. Who being in the form of God. Who being in the form of God. Read. Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Woo. Read that again. Thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Uh huh. But made himself of no reputation uh -huh. and took him the form of a servant. Took him the form of a servant. Remember, Christ washed the feet of the disciples, right? Right. It said, and read on, read on. And was made in the likeness of men. Wait, he was made in the likeness of men. How were you made, Dwight? Thank you. How was Christ made? There's levels to this Bible. There's levels. Is that verse 8? Keep reading. Verse, verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man. Being found in fashion as a man. He was made through sex. Just like all of us. Read. He humbled himself. What did Christ do? He humbled himself. He humbled himself because remember we read in Proverbs 8. Christ was there before the Most High made everything. Before the Most High made all the Of a nation. You got it? Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Who was wounded for the transgressions of, of the Israelites? Christ. Was he not smacked by the Pharisees? Was he not beaten by the Romans? Right. Huh? Yes, he was. Read that again. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was wounded for our sins. Read. He was for our iniquities. Christ was bruised for our iniquities. Did they not? Did they not bruise Christ? You know. Did they not put a crown of thorns and mock him and say, Hail the King of the Jews? Yes, they did. All for our sin. Read. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. The chastisement of our peace was upon Christ. So Christ had to humble himself from being in the third of a nation, which is the nation of Israel, for our sins. You got that? Is it more? Yeah. The chastisement of our people was upon it, and with his stripes, we are healed. With Christ's stripes, because Christ was beaten with a cat of nine tails. Right. With his stripes, we are healed. What does that mean? We are brought back under the Father. We are brought back in a covenant. We have, we have to understand Christ was put to death for our people. Okay. Um, yeah, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. All we like sheep have gone astray. Look at our people. Have our people not gone astray? Absolutely. Our people, they'll tell you they're atheists. They'll tell you they're agnostic. That's the new term we're hearing these days. They'll tell you, uh, I'm evangelical, I'm uh, apostolic, I'm Catholic. Our people ain't lost sheep. Read that again. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. 
Uh huh. We have turned everyone to their own way. All of our people have turned to their own way, their own belief. Read on. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. God has laid on Christ the sin of us all. Hope now drop that. Get me Matthew 1 and 21. Because that's what happened. He laid the iniquity of our people on Christ. That's what we read about in Isaiah, the 53rd chapter. You understand? And it tells us in the Gospels, in the New Testament, that Christ was going to die for us. So what we read in Isaiah, our forefathers read it and they understood that during the time of Matthew. Okay, watch this. We're going to show you. You got it? The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. She, that's talking about Mary. Okay, read on. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Uh-huh. For he shall save his people. He shall save who? His people. All nations. His people. Christ shall save his people. That's the Israelites. Read. From their sins. From what? From their sins. He shall save his people from their Father. Right. So what our fathers read in, in the Old Testament is in the New. All New Testament scriptures are based off of Old Testament writings. You understand? You cannot have the New Testament without the Old. Everything is prophecy. Do you understand? Is there more? Uh, Alright, let's go to our uh, presentation. Now, Christ had to die for us, right? And it's going to show you that Christ's death into the covenant with the most high. Read, I'm going to show you. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 1. On. My little children, these things write I unto you, uh -huh. that ye sin not. That ye what? Ye sin not. That ye sin not. That's the message. Sin not. You blacks and Latinos, Native Americans. Sin not. Read on. And if any man sin, have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Wait, read that again. And if any man sin. And if any man sin, because all of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, correct? Oh, read. We have an advocate. We have an advocate. What is an advocate? What? What is an advocate? Somebody gave me the definition of advocate. It said we have an advocate. Right? That's someone that's going to speak on your behalf. Someone that represents you. Right? An ambassador. Who has advocate? We're going to show you what the word advocate means. Read it. The definition of the word advocate. A person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy. Publicly recommends or supports. So, that was Christ. Christ was an advocate for us. Read on. A person who pleads on someone else's behalf. Do you hear what an advocate is? Read that again. A person who pleads on someone else's behalf. So Christ pled for our behalf. Let's go back to uh, go back to where you were reading. And if any man sin, we have an advocate. We have an advocate, someone that speaks on our behalf. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ the righteous Jesus Christ the righteous He was the advocate Jesus Christ was the advocate for our people Without Christ's death Without Christ's death We're finished as a nation
make it so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.